coming back. Yes, coming back from a two week tour of the pubs of Brewville and Crooks that my agent booked for me that paid for my stay in the Premier Inn in Sheffield. I was a bit worried. There was a centrepiece in my lawn, in the middle of my lawn. I could see it from quite a long way away. It looked very strange. Why would the wife want to put a centrepiece in the middle of my lawn, I thought. That is strange. I got nearer and I realised it was my daughter. Yes, my daughter, Dahlia. Not my idea to call her Dahlia, of course. The wife, she likes dahlias. Her favourite flower, dahlias. She's supposed to call the daughter Dahlia. And Dahlia is in the garden, up to her knees, belly up to her knees, in the garden, as a centrepiece on the lawn. I thought, that is strange. What is she doing up to her knees on the lawn as a centrepiece? So I said, Dahlia, what are you doing? And she said, hello, Dad. I'm growing. I said, about time to. And I walked into the house. And I said to my wife, why have you got green hair and green clothes on? She said, I've always had green hair. I don't always wore green clothes. Have you? I said. She said, yes. Well, yeah, I said, you can't have green hair naturally. She said, no, I dyed it. I've always dyed it. I said, have you? Have you only just noticed, she said. I said, yes. Well, she says, I always thought you were a bit strange. I says, well, isn't it strange having green hair and green clothes? You look just like a frog. She says, thank you very much. She says, it's okay. Then I says, why is Dahlia in the garden? Up to her knees, in my lawn. She's a very strange centrepiece for my lawn. She says, oh, Dahlia, she's growing. Yes, that's what she said. What do you mean she's growing? Well, she decided she hadn't grown for a while. So, she went into the garden, dug it up, and put a, a, refilled it up, up to her knees, and poured some water over herself and some liquid fertiliser. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, but it has, actually. Her toes have grown under the super tram tracks. And into Mr. Furby's garden. He's not very happy about it. No, Mr. Furby's never happy about anything. No, he isn't really, is he? The Super Tram people are not very happy either. They're worried about subsidence. Well, how can his toes grow? Well, I don't know. They just have. Well, have you tried to discourage her from uh, growing her toes in the ground? Well, no, you know what it daily is like. Once she gets her fort into her head, that's it. She does it. Can you remember when she was a toddler? She was the same then. She was determined to have a pet worm. And she got a pet worm. Well, that's not quite the same, is it? I can't have a daughter planted in the garden. What happens when she's got to go to school? When summer holidays are over? Oh, I do not know. You have to ask Daly about that. She's going to look very strange with them big feet if she goes to school. Well, she can't. I'll go, I'll go and see what I can do about it. Daly! Come out of there. No, oh, Daddy, I'm growing, she says. I'm trying to grow somewhere else. No, Daddy, I can't. 
I don't seem to grow anywhere else. I don't grow in here. Oh. Well, I don't know what to say. What's your mother say about it? She just says, hello, Daly. Do you want a sandwich? What do you say? I say, oh, yes, I'll have am, please. Maybe some pickle or Anderson's relish. Hmm. Well, I just don't know what to do about the situation. Then the wife comes out and says, Oh, your agent's booked you on another tour. Where to this time, I said. Oh, Attercliff. And Darnell. Oh, that is very good of him. I really do not know what to do about this daily a problem. I've never come across this problem before in my life. I just do not know what to do. Hmm. I suppose she'll get bored just standing there, growing. Oh, just let nature take its course. I think that's the best idea 